How many more heat waves must we endure to acknowledge the undeniable, our planet is getting warmer. In every corner of our world, the thermometer is inching upward. Average global temperatures are rising at a rate that is anything but average. This isn't just about a few extra degrees on a summer day, it's about a shift that's transforming the world as we know it. Heat waves that once seemed extraordinary are becoming the norm. From sweltering cities to the sun-scorched countryside, we are living in an era of intensified heat. These scorching temperatures aren't just uncomfortable, they're dangerous. They pose a threat to our health, our agriculture, and our way of life. But it's not only about the heat, it's also about the rain, or the lack thereof. Changing precipitation patterns are disrupting the rhythm of our seasons. Where there was once a predictable ebb and flow, there is now uncertainty. Floods and droughts are becoming more frequent, more severe, as our climate continues to change. And then there's the ice, those vast majestic expanses of white slowly turning to water. The melting of our planet's ice caps and glaciers is one of the most visible and poignant indicators of our warming world. As the ice disappears, it's not just the polar bears who are losing their home, we are all affected as sea levels rise, threatening our coastal cities and altering our landscapes. The mercury is rising, and with it, the stakes. Every fraction of a degree matters. Every bit of ice that melts, every heat wave that strikes, is a sign that we are moving closer to a point of no return. This isn't just about today or tomorrow but about the kind of world we are leaving for future generations. It's about recognizing that our actions have consequences, and that we have a responsibility to respond. As the ice melts and the globe heats we are forced to confront the harsh realities of climate change. Scene Script Have you ever wondered why hurricanes, floods and droughts seem more frequent and more severe? Our planet is not just warming, it's also becoming a stage for increasingly dramatic weather events. The reason behind this lies in the very climate change we've been discussing. The alteration in our world's climate doesn't just mean a few extra degrees on the thermometer. It's an entire shift in the way our climate system operates, and these extreme weather events are a testament to that. Think of a hurricane. These tropical cyclones feed off warm seawater. And as our oceans heat up due to rising global temperatures, hurricanes become stronger, more potent. They carry more water, they travel further, and they cause more devastation. The same goes for floods. Warmer air holds more moisture, leading to heavier rainfall and consequently, more severe flooding. On the flip side, we have droughts. You might wonder, how can a warming planet cause both floods and droughts? Well, the answer lies in the changing patterns of precipitation. Some areas are experiencing more rainfall, but others are getting less, leading to prolonged periods of dryness. This, coupled with higher evaporation rates due to increasing temperatures, results in droughts that are more intense and long-lasting. Wildfires, too, are becoming a more common sight. Drier conditions create the perfect kindling for these destructive events, and the warmer temperatures can further intensify the spread. The resulting damage to ecosystems and human communities is immense, both in terms of the immediate destruction and the long-term effects on air quality and habitat loss. All of these extreme weather events are not just isolated incidents. They are interconnected pieces of the larger climate change puzzle. When one part of the system is disrupted, it can trigger a domino effect, leading to a series of changes that reverberate around the globe. In the face of such unpredictable fury, we are left to reckon with our role in this global crisis. We must understand that our actions have consequences, and that the increasing frequency and intensity of these weather events is a stark reminder of the urgency of our situation. It's a call to action, a plea from our planet, that we need to do more to combat the escalating threat of climate change. Amidst the loud clamor of disasters, a silent tragedy unfolds, the loss of biodiversity. As the planet warms, ecosystems are thrown into disarray, and the delicate balance of life is disrupted. Now imagine a world where the songbirds no longer sing, where the colorful coral reefs are but a memory, where magnificent creatures like the polar bear are reduced to pictures in a history book. This is the bleak picture that biodiversity loss paints for us. Climate change is a silent thief, stealing away the richness of our world, one species at a time. As temperatures shift, habitats are disrupted, forcing countless plant and animal species into a game of survival they are ill-equipped to win. The loss of these species is more than just an ecological disaster. It's a profound loss of the world's natural heritage, of the intricate web of life that sustains us all. 
The silent loss of biodiversity is a grim reminder of the irreversible impacts of our actions. As the ice melts, the sea rises. But what does this mean for us? Well, let's dive in. Picture the vast, icy realms of the Earth, such as the polar ice caps and towering glaciers. Now imagine them melting at an accelerated pace due to the rising global temperatures. This vast amount of water doesn't simply vanish, but instead, it pours into our oceans causing sea levels to rise. This increased volume of water doesn't just stay put, it pushes further onto land posing serious risks to coastal communities and low-lying regions. Think about the picturesque beachfront homes, the bustling seaside towns, and the critical infrastructure that dots our coastlines. These could all be in peril as sea levels continue to rise. But it's not just about losing land to the sea. Rising sea levels also mean increased flooding and even the salinization of freshwater resources. This could leave many without access to clean fresh water, a basic human necessity. The rising tides serve as a stark warning of our impending fate if we fail to act. What if I told you that our actions could set off a chain reaction, amplifying the effects of global warming? Imagine a domino effect, but instead of harmless dominoes falling, we're dealing with the escalating consequences of climate change. One of these dominoes is what scientists call positive feedback loops. Now, don't be fooled by the term positive. In this context, it doesn't mean good. Quite the opposite. A positive feedback loop in climate change is a process that, once started, can reinforce itself, leading to a spiral of escalating effects. Take the melting of the permafrost, for example. Permafrost is permanently frozen soil that's been that way for thousands of years, covering about a quarter of the land in the northern hemisphere. It's like nature's freezer storing vast amounts of carbon. But as the planet warms, this freezer starts to defrost, releasing the carbon in the form of carbon dioxide and methane potent greenhouse gases. Here's where the feedback loop comes in. The more permafrost melts, the more greenhouse gases are released into the atmosphere. These additional gases then contribute to further warming, leading to more permafrost melting and so on. It's a vicious cycle and the scary part is, once it starts, it can be incredibly hard to stop. But melting permafrost is just one example. There are other feedback loops at play. The loss of ice and snow cover, for instance, reduces the Earth's ability to reflect sunlight, causing additional warming. The more ice melts, the less sunlight is reflected, and the warmer the planet gets. These feedback loops are like ticking time bombs. If we let them go off, they could accelerate global warming to a point where it's out of our hands. That's why it's crucial to act now. By reducing our greenhouse gas emissions, we can slow down the warming and potentially keep these feedback loops in check. These vicious cycles, once set in motion, threaten to escalate the crisis beyond our control. But remember, while they are ticking, these time bombs have not yet gone off. We still hold the power to defuse them. The question is, will we? Amidst the gloom, there is a beacon of hope. Global cooperation. It's the invisible thread that binds us all in this shared fight against climate change. Over the past years, we've seen a remarkable surge in international efforts to combat this global crisis. Governments, corporations and individuals alike are beginning to recognize the immense scale of the issue and the urgent need for collective action. From the Paris Agreement to the countless local initiatives, strides have been made in acknowledging the reality of climate change and the actions needed to mitigate its effects. However, acknowledging the problem is only the first step. The commitments made by countries, big or small, need to be translated into concrete policies and measures. It's not enough to simply pledge to reduce emissions. We must also follow through with actions that bring about real, tangible change. This means transitioning away from fossil fuels, investing in renewable energy sources, and adopting sustainable practices in every sector, from agriculture to industry. Furthermore, this fight isn't confined to the borders of our countries. Climate change is a global issue, one that requires a coordinated global response. We need to strengthen the ties that bind us, fostering greater cooperation and unity in the face of this shared threat. We must share resources, knowledge and technology, and work together to build resilience against the impacts of climate change. But it's not just about what governments and corporations can do. Each and every one of us has a role to play in this global effort. From reducing our carbon footprint to supporting sustainable businesses, there are countless ways we can contribute to the fight against climate change. The road ahead is long and fraught with challenges, but there is hope. With every step we take together, we move closer to a more sustainable and resilient future. The power of cooperation is immense, and when we harness it, there's no limit to what we can achieve. 
Only through collective action can we hope to turn the tide.